Hey everybody, Dr. Nick here on Feel Good Friday. Today we're talking about how tight lats can actually cause an anterior pelvic tilt. Then I'm going to show you some exercises to fix this problem. So we've talked about how that excessive anterior pelvic tilt or that excessive arching of the low back can cause low back pain. It kind of compresses that low back and the nerves coming out of your spine. In previous videos, I've talked about how usually tight hip flexors, tight muscles of your low back, weak glutes and weak abs can cause this excessive anterior pelvic tilt. Today, I'm going to show you how the lats can actually be contributing to this too. So let's look at the anatomy first. So your lats attach to the front of your arms and then span a good portion of your, of your back and then they actually connect down here to what's called the thoracolumbar fascia. The thoracolumbar fascia has a very long name but the take home is that it's just a sheath of fascia that connects the pelvis, the low back, and the mid back. When the lats get tight, it's going to pull on your low back and it can kind of cause that anterior pelvic tilt when you go to stretch the lat from the other end. So for example, when you go to raise your arm up, your lats are getting stretched up here so that now down here, it's going to kind of pull you into that anterior pelvic tilt if they're tight. This can cause compression on your spine and low back pain when you go to reach overhead. Let's take a look at some exercises how to fix this problem. Okay, so the first exercise, you're going to lean with your back against the wall, keep your head and neck in a nice neutral chin tucked position. You're gonna do a posterior pelvic tilt into the wall to flatten your low back into the wall. Do not let your low back arch off the wall like you see here. Keep that pelvis stable and raise your arms up as high as you can. The next exercise is great for the lats and also some thoracic or mid back extension. So you're gonna kneel down, um, you could do this on a bench, on a stair, anywhere you can get some leverage. And you're gonna sit back into this stretch, take some deep breaths, and with each, with each exhale, you're going to sink down a little bit deeper. And again, do not arch that lower back, as I'm going to show you right here. You don't want to let that low back sag and arch. Keep that pelvis stable as you sink down into the stretch. The next one is a simple lat stretch. So you can just grab on anything stable, uh, lean forward, uh, put your arm up, and, and then kind of lean toward the side that you're stretching to feel the stretch a little bit more in your lat. Take some deep breaths, hold for a couple seconds on each side and this is a great passive stretch and I'm going to show you a great active stretch right after this. So yes, I'm holding a pumpkin, it's fall, I love the fall, but you can hold any kind of weight like a kettlebell or anything with some weight to it. And you're going to lie down on the floor, do a posterior pelvic tilt into the floor. Do not let your low back arch off the floor. And you're going to slowly lower the weight down to the floor. So you're getting a good stretch on the lats, but you're also getting an eccentric contraction of the lats. So we're gaining range of motion, but we're also gaining stability in that range of motion because the muscles are active. And again, here's me showing you how uh, not to do it by arching your back. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.